Okuma machining centers are now available with a graphical user interface for probing and tool setting cycles. The graphical user interface, or GUI, guides the user through numerous probing and tool setting functions, resulting in fast, accurate setups. To probe a feature, simply activate the GUI and select the feature you'd like to measure. In this example, we are measuring a bore, so select the bore icon and enter the approximate bore size and work offset number. We then press Create Cycle to generate the MDI buffer code and run the measurement routine. This cycle can be used to set the component's XY work offsets. Also, the bore size will be displayed on a pop-up window. In the next example, we are using the probe to set a Z surface as a work offset. We select the Z cycle, enter the surface's nominal Z position, and the work offset number to be set. Pressing Create Cycle generates the MDI code for the probing routine. This cycle can be used to set the component's Z work offset. The actual feature's dimensions will be displayed on a pop-up window. In the final example, we are measuring a web in the x-axis. The web icon is selected. The approximate web size and the incremental z distance are both entered. Then the cycle is created and run. This cycle can be used to set the component's X or Y work offsets, and the web size will once again be displayed on a pop-up window. The GUI also features simplified probe calibration cycles. There is no longer a need to manually establish the center of a master ring for calibration. Simply select the probe calibration cycle and enter the master ring size, then create and run the cycle. This routine will use the spindle 0 and 180 degree orientations to find the master ring center automatically. The probe's length can be calibrated using the GUI by selecting the length option, entering tool number and datum position. The probe is then manually positioned above the datum. The cycle is executed and the probe's offset is automatically calculated and entered into its tool offset. Tool setting cycles are also included in the GUI. To set a tool length with a Renishaw contact tool setter, just press the contact tool setting icon to show the tool setting options available. In this example, we're selecting the manual length cycle. We enter the tool's number and diameter, create and run the cycle. The tool length is automatically entered into the offset page. A tool's length and diameter can be set by selecting the automatic length and diameter button. Enter the tool's nominal diameter and approximate length and create and run the cycle. The tool's length will be set first, followed by the tool's diameter. Note that the spindle is running in reverse during this cycle to prevent wear on the stylus or cutter. The measured length and diameter will be automatically entered into the tool offset table. Non-contact laser systems are also supported by the GUI. A tool length can be measured easily with minimal operator input. More advanced functions are available in the optional inputs. In this case, the operator wants to measure an 80 mm diameter face mill length with the tool positioned 35 mm off center. Contact your local Akuma or Renishaw office for more information.